Hey guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Speed and Spark Thomas. So, first off, this is kind of a weird item. Um, let me just read the description on the box. So, sometimes when trains travel at high speeds, they create sparks as they race along the rails. Now, Speed and Spark engines bring that thrilling effect to the world of Trackmaster. Press the button to send Thomas speeding forward and watch as his back wheels light up like they're really sparking. So, in one way, it's kind of a cool idea. I do like the idea of a sparking Thomas. Is it as cool as a light-up headlamp? No. But, it's still pretty cool. On the side of Thomas, we have exclusive print of sparks going up and steam clouds. I wish they wouldn't have put the fake sparks on there, because it kind of takes away from the effect of the real light-up sparks. Um, he has good detail all the way around though, considering he's a Trackmaster 2 engine. One thing that surprised me too was um, the middle wheel. That's a print. It's not paint. It's actually printed on there. If we rotate him around, we can see that his face is the same as the Streamline Thomas. Cab print is left the same, so same whistle and everything is regular. Other side is normal and just the same as the other. And the back is kind of plain, and of course no buffers on front or back. Let's see the light-up effect. So you'll notice Thomas's wheels actually have a clear tint to them. So they're kind of like, I guess, clear with a little bit of blue mixed in, which helps the whole wheel light up. I was also interested in what's underneath the shell there with the um, how they did the light. And basically, it's just two LEDs in this side there, which you can see. And then again, there's that printed third wheel. It's pretty cool. It's basically the same chassis as a talking engine with that button press. Alright, so let's do a first run and then we'll do some tests. Or, uh, final stats, rather. Test run, then stats. I will say it does look like it's actually sparking, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so final thoughts on this engine. Um, is it cool? It's actually pretty cool. I like it more in person than I thought that I would. Um, is it something that I would recommend running out and buying? Not exactly, because it's not a necessity to the layout. Um, if you have a realistic layout like me and you like modeling the television series, this probably wouldn't be the engine for you, just because of... I don't think we've seen the engines really spark. The brakes spark, you know, when the wheels, when they slam on their brakes. But this isn't exactly the same thing. Um, it's a cool item, but other than that, I don't think it has much play value for collectors. For kids, they're going to love seeing this light up. And I can see a lot of playability getting out of this, especially when it's dark, you know, toward bedtime. Turn out the lights, run the train around the, around the loop. And this will be great on my Halloween layout as well. So on a scale from 1 to 10 on on the entire product, I'd probably give it about a 6 or a 7. Probably looking more toward a 6 just because it's an item that doesn't really do much. And for a collector, it's not too exciting. It's cool, but, you know, this could have been a Daisy or, you know, Oliver. So I'm a little bit both ways. Anyway... This is Thomas and Friends 47 signing off. Tell me what you think about this product in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.